Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Vol. We're on the Classic Track Thursday, 23rd of March, 22 pentrometer, uh, false rails uh, four meters from the 600. Now, what's interesting is the false rail, the last three meetings has been four, four meters. So um, it's in the same place. The horses are racing on um, old turf, although uh, we are on different tracks. Uh, but four meters seems to be the, the tape measure. So that's quite interesting. Uh, but let's kick into uh, number one, race one of the eight race program, 2000 meter maiden plate for the work riders. And I, I think Matha Catlin is the right horse, number one, uh, Robin Clarsen's runner, Sam Mosier rides it. It really improved nicely last time, this uh, daughter of Wiley Hall going the distance, and this looks perfect for it. But not cut and dried. Impressions, your favourite, uh, for Chama Mabaya, Sean Terry's runner, and uh, Queen Britannia, not very much between that and the number one. Uh, over this type of dis distance, Thomas and Kuma gets a ride. And then on the guest list makes it even more difficult because that's uh, definitely got to have some sort of chance as well. But they'll fight it out. I'm going with Mata Kathleen. Uh, race two, uh, Mary rated 82,400 meters. And the horse I found here is number seven, Angels, which I think it runs on. I think it will be perfectly suited to distance. Got to get chunks of weight from everyone. Uh, but if it doesn't, it's not suited by the distance, then a fraud is always dangerous. He gets Gavin Arena. That's number five. Uh, Earl, uh, you've got to ignore his last start. The run before that was very good indeed. And um, did a great affair. Good last run. Got to have a big chance as well. But I'm going each way, number seven, Angel's Wish. See if I can burgle three places. Uh, race three. Maiden juvenile plate. They go 1,000 metres well. This is all about what's fancy. The two Brett Crawfords runner may need the run. They should, says it showed some ability. Number four, Galadorn. And then uh, number nine, Real Relief, the money horse. 18 to 10 for the Crawford Yard. Keegan DeMello rides has been back. Interesting, McCaller comes up from the Cape to ride. But he's riding number four. And DeMello gets a ride on Real Relief. Well, that's because he rides for the Verners. And uh, you'd expect that maybe to be the right horse. Rose Tinted's the horse that might improve a lot here. Because drawn one, that's not in its favour, but bled last time. And um, it didn't run a bad race, so it's got a 60-day suspension and really probably will improve quite a lot. Race four, Maiden Juvenile played for Phillies. And the uh, same type of thing, you've got Wugug, the number 12, the Mokdola ride for the Crawford outfit. Uh, got to have a big chance of the horses that are unraced. There seems to be a little bit of money for that as well as Mary's green light. But the horses that are raced, call me when you need me, number two, Stuart Pettigrew's runner. Well, the Gavao gets a ride this time. Um, and that's quite interesting because uh, Danielson quite often rides is for this guy and uh, the Gavao is now aboard it. The interesting guy here is um, Matsunami who doesn't seem to be in favour with the Crawford operation anymore. He seemed to be their Joburg rider, and he's riding Mary's green light for Mike Cop. Watch for follow-through. Watch him canter down. Makes it extremely difficult as far as um, pick sixes and um, PAs and certainly jackpots, because uh, the jackpot, they don't have the unraced rule apply. Race five, maiden plate, uh, and they're going 1,800 metres. Uh, Piera Plata was very, very disappointing last time. Damello gets a leg up, drawn 11, um, and should be good enough to beat this field. Uh, Haslo Grande is the big, interesting horse. Drawn one, ran on last time. McTorley gets a ride again, and that was behind the runaway win winner, Stratospheric, who runs later on. Miss Christmas might improve, that's number 10, but um, they seem to be the ones, and Pink Diamond, not a bad run last time, that could be a big improver as well. Race 6, this is a graduation plate, uh, 1600, and Destiny of Souls, um, ignore its last, was blowing, and it drifted like a barge. Now, uh, when these horses drift like that, you know they're not fancy. Uh, he looked like the right horse in the race, the son of Raj won the race, that looks like a nice improver. So you've got to be considered here. But two Crimson King is the best rated horse by quite a, a long way. And he might be the right horse. He's had two runs in Joburg. 
absolutely perfect. McTaller might be coming up to ride this one, so have a very close look at Crimson King. Invincible Warriors third run. Stratospheric. Well, the uh, Tony Peter runner um, obviously had uh, Raptor Island and uh, Napoleon left in the race, so that the race stood up, otherwise it would have been eight or seven runners. Tarred scratched as well. So Stratospheric then must be fancy. One in a common canter last time. This will show if he's any good at all. So you can't ignore him, but uh, I think that at the weights, Crimson King's got to have a huge chance. Let's go and have a look at uh, race seven. A merit rate at 74, 14, 50. Um, let's do it. Number one, drawn 13. That's not in his favor, but has beaten a lot of these horses a lot of times and actually could be the, the, the real lurker in this race. Uh, Tizona is your favorite at three to one. And look for improvement from the Tony Peter inmate. Uh, and then Vitellius. I thought his three runs are very, very good indeed. Chase Majan rode him last time. He gets a ride again, and I think he's a he's a he's a runner here. But the find of the race, no, well, there are two. Sage King Danielson sticks with it, and um, the Crawford horse. Um, to always follow the Crawford horses is a very good outfit, and um, when they bring your horses to Joburg, you've got to have a close look. Mister Maloney is the find number thirteen. Uh, run on last, improved. Dim Demello rode it last time. He's back aboard it. There's a perfect trip for it. And this horse has got a very, very um, low profile for a horse merit rate at uh, 68. I think he'll go well. Race 8, classified, 1,000 meters. Uh, Dancing Dora might be the uh, best of the roughies in the race and uh, certainly loves the 1,000 meters. You can ignore its last start um, and the start before maybe it been uh, had quite a lot of racing. But uh, Dancing Dora goes a thousand very nicely. Three wins, two places, uh, three runs, two wins over the thousand. Got to go well here. Western Wish has won a very good first run. Uh, good time. That's number 10. Gabriel Peterson for Paul Matchett. Uh, Samoa. This is an interesting uh, mare. This, um, she's run 57 times. She's won five. And um, they had a winner during the week, Bridget Siloff and, uh, Siloff and um, uh, Sean Patterson runs the operation for her here. And you know, Sean's mother was a very, very good trainer. Gavin Lorena gets the leg up, so that's always a very good uh, pointer. Letitia's Angel might easily improve, um, got four points. And then Smith & Wesson ran on last time. He comes in well in a race that uh, is filled with minefields. So uh, eighth race looks very difficult. Anyway, have a good day's racing at Turfentine and bet into bet. They all go, the money all goes in the tote.